843, we are back. Sustainab uh, sustainability, the name of the game. Tanya Otero back with us on BT. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Last time you were on the show, uh, the words that stood out, you are what you trash because you were doing a pr plastic free experiment for a year. That's right. How to live your lifestyle. And with the great Canadian shoreline cleanup, uh, you see the culprits time and time again. You're still doing great work. And we have the list of culprits of uh, waste we're seeing still on our shorelines. Yeah, that's right. So it's the top 12 items found on shorelines since there you'll see things like straws, plastic bags, cigarette butts in the number one. Um, you'll see bottle caps and plastic bottles. So when you look through the list, you'll notice that the, the majority of the items are made of plastic. So that's one of the big reasons that I'm kind of gearing towards a plastic free living and reducing your waste. Terrific message. Are things getting better with what we're seeing on the shorelines? There are some areas of Canada that have shorelines um, that we're seeing a reduction in the amount of waste. But there's, I mean, you know, shoreline litter still continues to persist, and, and it's it really important for folks to get out there and, and clean up their shorelines. Clean up a big part of it, but then getting proactive with the educational component, which is what you brought here on the table. Uh, so take us through this, because I think the last time you were on, you talked about a toothbrush. You're missing the plastic toothbrush. There are plenty of ideas of how to replace uh, the basic plastic out there. Yeah, absolutely. So we can start here. Um, you know, early mornings, you're getting ready for the day. Uh, here are a few ideas of things you can incorporate into your lifestyle. We've got the bamboo toothbrush and a reusable razor. Um, what I love about the bamboo toothbrush is you can actually compost the handle once you're done with it. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, common utensils as well. And the metal straw, which is another great one. The metal straw, and I brought my little cleaner as well. Some folks wonder how how do you clean the inside of the straw after you're done with it and, or after you've used it, and there you go. There's the answer. Uh, bamboo cutlery, reusable napkin, great things to carry around with you when you're on the go. Um, even when you go to a restaurant, bring the reusable straw with you, and uh, you can refuse your plastic straw in, in your drink instead. This girl is on it. What's happening with these items here? Here we've got some reusable alternatives to uh, dishwashing. So we have the uh, cloth here uh, that is reusable as well as the scrubber. So it's a um, bam uh, metal, or sorry, a wooden handled scrubber and it's got some nice uh, compostable bristles there. Now, when I look at these, uh, storage, we see this at the grocery store all the time, the paper, the plastic, but uh, there's a different idea that you're introducing. Yeah, absolutely. Here we have reusable mesh bags, and so instead of using the plastic bags in the grocery store, I head to the bulk section, and I refill my mesh bags here. Um, what I love about these is that, you know, you use them, and maybe you'll throw them in the wash, get them cleaned up. The carrots are a great, any produce really fits well into these mesh bags, and one thing I will give as a quick tip is if you've got carrots and you're worried about them drying out without the plastic, put a glass pie dish in your um, crisper, mm -hmm. fill it with an inch of water, put the carrots in there and they'll last for weeks. There's your hack there to keep the yeah. moisture uh, in check. And now the experiments at home, making products, cleaning supplies, what, what do we have set up here? Here we have, um, you'll see right here, we've got three little la lotion. They're, they're really easy three ingredient lotion bars mm -hmm. and they're super simple to make it'll take you less than five minutes to make them all you need is some cocoa butter coconut oil and then you can use either a shea butter as well and beeswax so really easy to make you can see here all you do is pop the ingredients into pyrex put in the microwave melt it down pour it into your silicone molds and put it in the fridge and you're good to go. Nice setup and then finally avoiding the chemicals with the cleanup uh, at home, what do you suggest? Yeah, so here we have some really natural ingredients. Borax is great as well as washing soda. Things that people more likely will have at home are the apple cider vinegar or white vinegar as well as the baking soda. So if you wanna make a simple cleaner, just combine the white vinegar, baking soda, a little bit of water and some essential oils, maybe use some tea tree oil, it's great antifungal, antimicrobial. Um, shake that up in a bottle and you have an all-purpose spray. You are leading the charge. <laughs> The website to find out more, shorelinecleanup.ca? That's the one. And when it comes to recruitment, if people want to get involved and help clean up our shorelines, timing, and what are you looking for? Yeah, you can join or lead a cleanup, and registration opens in March. Good deal. Tanya, always doing good things. Thanks so much for coming back Thanks on. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. We'll take another break. Watch this.